How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our next episode. We're going to take a look at something called variable scopes inside JavaScript. Now, as you can see in front of me here, I do actually have an example that I want to use in order to explain what exactly a scope is when it comes to JavaScript. Now, when it comes to JavaScript, we have two different types of scopes. We have something called a global scope and something called a local scope. Now, what these scopes means is basically where we can use variables inside our code. So as you can see in front of me, I do have a variable at the top here, which is a global scope because I declared it in the root of the file that I used it in. So because I just declared it up here outside a function, it is what we call a global variable. And I can use it wherever I want inside the script, both outside and inside functions like I, like I did here. As you can see, I did actually refer to it inside the function called calc. And I simply returned it without pulling it into uh, using the parameters inside the parentheses. I could just simply refer to it and then console log calc down here below. And as you can see inside the console, we do actually get 10, which is the value of a variable number up here. So a global scope is a variable that has been declared in the root of the file, and we can use it wherever we want inside the document. Now, a local scope is a little bit different. If I were to take the same variable, copy it, delete it, and then pull it inside the function calc. Because the variable has been declared inside a function, it is within the local scope of this specific function. So as you can see, we have pretty much the same example with a small difference. I declared the variable inside the function, returned it inside the same function. And then when I console log it inside the browser, you can see that we still get the result inside the browser. And we can still access the variable from within the function because it has been declared within the local scope of the function that also returned it. Now, if I were to do something different, if I were to go down inside the console log and simply want to console log the variable called number. Now, typically, if variable number were to be outside in the global scope, I could just simply console log it and it would actually work. Now, because variable number is inside the local scope of the function called calc, I can't access it from outside the local scope of the function. So were to save this, you can see we get a uncut reference error, which is a basic way of telling us that it can't find what it's looking for. So it can't find variable number because it is declared within a function, meaning inside the local scope of the function. Now, if I were to take the variable and remove it from the local scope of the function and take it back out into the global scope, then we can again access the variable from inside the console log. Now, seeing this, you might be tempted to do something a bit weird, which is just to create global variables the entire time when you create JavaScript code, because then you could just access it from everywhere at all times. And wouldn't that be better? Now, if you were to just create global scope variables in the entire code, then we have a couple of downsides to it that would actually make the variables less useful inside the code. Now, one downside being that you can't reuse the name of the variable. So if you want to have multiple variables that are similar to each other, I can't reuse the same name for different variables. Another downside to it as well is that when we create variables inside the global scope, we do actually reserve space for the variable inside the browser, meaning that it's going to take up space in the browser and be more resource heavy. And when we create local variables inside functions, we only take up space inside the browser when we call in the function, meaning that it's going to be a lot less resource heavy to use local variables inside your code. So I hope you had a lot of fun watching this short episode. In the next one, I get to really confuse you guys because we're going to talk about two new different types of variables called const and let. And these are some that we're going to be using in the future instead of the variable we've been using so far called va. So we're not going to be using va anymore in the future episodes. So I really recommend that you watch the next episode. Otherwise, you might get slightly confused about future episodes where I don't use variables anymore, but instead are going to use the let and const new types of variables that we're going to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.